Good evening, everybody from Phnom Penh. Good evening. We still weren't feeling 100% this morning, so. <laughs> Don't get hit by a motorcycle. <laughs> we weren't feeling 100% this morning still, so we decided to stay in and take uh, one more easy day. And we also took advantage to catch up on a whole bunch of work that we have to do with all of our vlogs. But this afternoon we're feeling much better and we decided to come out and get some food. And uh, we want to show you some different food that we're finding here at the markets in Cambodia on a Monday night. Um, I think it's called Nong Kachai. And I'm gonna try a bite of it. Ooh, we're hot. Mm. Well, in the meantime, um, it's like this fried ball of like cheese and spices. And they put a little bit of, I don't know if it's like broth or oil in there, and then they also top it off with some chili. Try a smaller piece and see if it'll, if it's a little cooler. This cost a thousand real. It's really good. I think it could use a little bit more chili, but it's really good. It has a lot of flavor to it. Um, and for a thousand real, that's like 25 cents. That's not bad at all. A good way to start dinner. on her back and so she's like balancing out what she's selling and I paid 3,000 real for this and it looks like a pudding it's really warm I'm pretty sure it's a dessert as well we haven't had any dessert here in Cambodia so let's give it a try I think my favorite part is like this. Wow, that's really good. And I'm not really sure what what this like yellow thing is. It, it, it kind of looks like peach. I might be wrong though. Mm, but it's squishy. We were not planning on filming today because we weren't feeling very well. And then the moment we stepped out of our hotel, there's so many vendors. It's like, where were they this weekend? When we were struggling to find food, really good, worth it. The more I eat this, I realized that this is actually ginger. All these vendors showed up. It's kind of like when you're exploring a map and you're like looking for something and you can never find it. Like they just spawned all of a sudden. It's so crazy because all weekend long we were looking for food and we couldn't find anything. No street carts, no nothing. And all of a sudden today on Monday, everybody's out and about. In case you're looking for a 3070 Ti for your computer, they're over here in Cambodia. They also got a bunch of i9s and Ryzen 7s. They have everything you need to build your gaming computer. Oh, is it the menus and postre? That's also the potato. Yeah, with jello inside. Yeah. We tried getting just a copious amount of sticky rice from one of these dessert stands, but we kept getting ignored, so we left. Yeah. I mean, like if you don't want business, then I'm not just gonna stand there and hand it to you. We got some cane juice. I've never had cane juice before. Mmm. Whoa. That's nice and sweet. I remember munching on the canes when I was little. So it's nice to have it differently. Mm. Yeah, pretty good. Real sweet though, but it's like they put, I don't know if they put anything else, but the cane juice, it almost tastes like it has like lemon and honey. street carts work their magic and I was telling Moses that in our future house I want one of these in my house. 
We picked up dinner from the street cart right behind us once again because it was so good last time. And honestly, we're having a lot of trouble finding any other street carts with good vegetarian options or affordable meat options. So uh, we're eating at this street cart again because it was so good last time. Thank you for joining us on our unexpected food mini vlog. This is kind of fun to film. We just saw so many different things that we wanted to try and we said, screw it, let's uh, share it with the internet. Yeah. <laughs> we are planning on starting our Phnom Penh exploration tomorrow, so we'll see you all tomorrow. Please remember to subscribe to keep following us on our journey and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.